The next question says, if R1 and R2 are the red eye of curvature of a double convex lens, which of the following will have the largest power? Now we can say the power is 100 upon F if F is in centimeter, which is equivalent to 100 into mu minus 1 into 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. Now here, nothing is mentioned about the value of mu. So I can assume that to be a constant and 100 is definitely a constant. So I can say power is directly proportional to 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. Now the option given over here is R1 as infinity, R2 as 10. The next option is R1 as 10, R2 as infinity. The next option we have is R1, R2 both as 5. And the next option is R1, R2 both as 10. So if we try one thing at a time, I can say R1, if it is infinity, this becomes 0. This becomes 1 by 10. If it say R1 is 10 and R2 is infinity, this becomes 0. And this becomes 1 by 10. Please remember, this negative sign will always convert into positive sign for a double convex lens because for double convex lens the R1 is positive and R2 is generally negative. So on, for option A and for option B in both the cases power is going to be proportional to 1 by 10. So they are going to be the same. Now if I use it for uh, option number C I'm going to get the power correlation as 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 as 2 by 5. And for the case of 10 and 10 the power is going to be proportional to 2 by 10. Now if we actually calculate this, this is going to be 0.1, this is going to be 0.4 and this is going to be 0.2. So we can say this is going to be the maximum. And so the option C is your answer which can give you the largest power.